Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to do a quick and very simple DIY for you where I marry the rustic look of twine with the glamorous look of sparkle and shine. This video is part of a collaboration called Twine It Up. This is hosted by Fanny of Creations by Favi, and this month her co-host is DIY Beauty on Purpose. I've linked their channels in my description box and I do hope you'll go over and watch what they've created along with the others on the playlist. So now, let's get right to my DIY. I'm starting off with these two pink tapered candles, and I think these are going to look really nice for spring. I'm measuring about five inches from the bottom, and not the very bottom, because the tapered part is where we want to stick that into our candle holder so we don't want to put any twine around that but I am measuring off where I want to start my twine and I'm making sure that I've measured both the same we start off with our hot glue and I'm simply going to take this twine glue it at the top and then just start to wrap the twine all the way around and we sort of have to adjust it as we go an extra dab of glue to make sure the top stays there and we keep wrapping and wrapping and unwrapping our twine and there i'm just securing the back with some extra glue And we just keep going around and this twine and I don't know if all twine is the same or not but this twine got very thick at this point um, and then became very thin again so it's sort of the whole roll just sort of goes thinner and thicker and thinner and thicker which I think gave the candle a lot of really interesting dimension and I really ended up liking the way that looked. So here I'm going to cut off our twine at the bottom. I'm going to glue it down and make sure that it stays. And that's what it looks like so far. And to this rustic twine, I'm going to glue on this sparkly pink and gold butterfly ornament. It's actually a Christmas ornament, but I think it's so pretty in the pink that I'm going to use it for spring. And I'm gluing it to our candle, ensuring that it's secured nicely. And that's what it looks like. So I went ahead and did the second candle off camera and I'm going to glue the butterfly on and of course I sort of started to run out of glue a bit there so I start to get a bit sloppy here because uh, uh, the glue is running out and whatnot so I've got my gun there trying to squeeze the glue out and ensuring that the back is secured nicely. And this is what our two candles look like. Now let's see how they look displayed. This is what they look like displayed on our crystal candle holders, on our little cabinet with a pretty flower in the middle. I'm quite pleased with the way that they turned out. I do quite like the look of the rustic twine with the sparkle on the butterfly. Um, I think it's really representative of me and the fact that I like so many different styles. I'm not just one look or one style. So I think this really uh, speaks to, to me and what I like. So I hope you like it as well. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Your comments are always welcome and kindly subscribe if you haven't already. And please do be sure to visit the playlist.